Hi guys, if you don't know how to download and install FDRS software, this video is for you. Do you know IDS software is very useful for Ford vehicle, but it only support for 2018 model. So today I will show you how to download and install FDIS software. It's a next generation software and it can support for own model. But remember for me, this software requires a laptop with good enough configuration. So you can require parameter here and compare with your laptop. And now let's start it. The very first step you need to do is turn off Defender Antivirus Protection in the firewall you click type here to search file window security then go to Virus and Threat Protection and under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Next, go to the Ford homepage and download the FDRS software installation file. You can access it by following the link below the description. Please wait until the download is complete. Before installing FDRS software, make sure to turn off antivirus completely again using Defender Control software. Once you have made sure that the antivirus is completely turned off, go to the installation file you just downloaded, click and select Run as Administrator. Select the language you want to use. Then click Accept the Terms. Then on the laptop screen will display the required parameters of the laptop. Prepare a laptop with enough configuration to be able to install this software. In the next step, you return to the desktop and activate the software. For FDRS software you need to have an account to use, in this video we will show two main types of accounts. The first is a non-dealer account. With this account you will be allowed to perform some functions such as programming, but to use it all, you need another account, it is located at the end of the video. The second type of account is the dealer account. With this account you can use all the functions of the FDRS software. Finally, there are devices that are compatible with this software. FDRS software is compatible with many types of devices, but the most suitable device is still VCM2. Okay, you can contact me via the WhatsApp number in here to have license of software. If you feel this video is useful, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Thank you and goodbye.